Is that right? Then there are some wholes that do benefit their members by their participating in the whole? Not likely? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah? Uh, would it follow that in such a whole? Uh, ah. Or does the whole of which we are speaking Does it have what would you say? No, go right ahead. For there to be a benefit, there would definitely have to be some power. And would it also comprehend its members? It have to. Even though some may be. greater or less, and nonetheless, would you agree, no matter how many parts, yet each of the parts is still a one, and the whole is is a one. Is that right? Is, it, is that right? Hmm. What would make it a one? I, I was grabbing the note paper, so I might have missed this. Yeah. Well, would you agree the parts of this whole vary, some are greater or lesser on many particular uh, scales, yet each of them is a one. Is this a whole of soul, of selves? Is that what they represent? Oh, well, okay. Uh, So Barbara asked, uh, can that whole be the self? Mm -hmm. Both are the small selves. And well, the OK. Self. All right. Go ahead. Well, doesn't it depend on whether, um, well, sim simply the fact that it's a whole that benefits, that doesn't make it a one. If it's a, and if, if, if those participants benefit by participating, it seems to me it still doesn't make it a one, even if what they're participating is the same. Would that make it a one? Yeah, maybe. If what they're participating in is the same in every case, and then they're all then then there's no part whole relationship to that which they are participating. So in that case, I could agree that it was a one. Oh, then uh, then while being a one, each is no less equal, equally one, all right? And therefore, there's a equality among all the members. I think so. Is that right? Well, whoever said that should cash it out into a real question. 
be apparent with them. Is that your plan? Yeah, well, the, um, all of them are equal in that they're participating in the, in the whole. And well, no, go ahead. Uh, So, uh, is the self a whole yeah. and a one in which each member can equally comprehend each other as well as comprehend the whole one self? Sounds good. I'm not sure. Well, if you're not sure, ask Raphael. What is it? He's a great person to sit next to. Um, <clears throat> is this a soul we're talking about, or individual souls? I don't know. Just any. Well, it just occurs to me that each of the smaller ones may also have parts. Well, if there are. If there's an equality among all of them, does that equality also include that it itself comprehends the whole and all the members? Would it equally follow that all of the members, in principle, can equally comprehend the whole? So, so when we say the whole comprehends, yeah. you mean cognitively? Yeah. See how quickly I answer that? Well, right, because you could say the whole comprehends all of its parts. Here. But those parts don't comprehend itself or any of its parts, even though they fit so excellently together and produce something higher than itself. So are we speaking here ideally? Because it seems like many selves that I know of are not ones. I might even have to include myself in that. Or not ones. Oh, because you see just legs and arms walking around? Because mean? what? I'm sorry? I'm no, joking we, on that I, level. I just couldn't hear it, because Ingmar and you were speaking no, at the same no. time. That's why you see legs and arms walking around. No, I think that's why my, my self-image is very subdiv is a subdivision, a suburb of the true suburb. self, I think. Suburb. And so it's kind of a partial thing. You know, it seems like, like we're talking ideally, that participation in the self, there's no difference between that and one's everyday life. And definitely, those peak experiences in a dream. But what about my everyday knock around bullshit consciousness? Good. Here. Hold it. Yes. Hold it. Okay. What about that? 
what if there's no difference between the ideal case and that which manifests everywhere? That would be absurd, would it not? I, it looks like it to me. Hold it. Then it would be ideal everywhere. Why would it be absurd? Well, Trump springs to mind. Um, would you agree that even the person who we might describe as lacking totally any idea of the self must have an idea of the self of which they subscribe? Absolutely. Even if it is false. Yeah. Especially if it's false. <coughs> but they must see it as real and true. Is that right? Um, so there is no lesser self, they're all, this, all equal, and even if they're ideal. illusionary, or less than ideal? Uh, this is, this is equal, no, the same. If there's no difference, they must be yeah. the same. I thought, he, I thought his point was that they had a, they had a view of the self, which may not be true, but they hold it as true. They hold it as true that there are such things as selves. Isn't that what you're saying? Did we just see someone who had a false idea of themselves? Absolutely. <clears throat> and came to see yes. the falsity of it? <coughs> How is that possible unless they already have an ideal idea of the soul? Right. Okay. So they have, they, they may have, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. What, what did you just see, Barbara? Well, we're talking that they have an idea of, ideal of the self, right. ideal idea of the self, that they're contrasting themselves with. Oh, okay. Right? And others. And others, like... like when, see others like well. when, yeah. when Trump jumps on some fault of Hillary's, right, he's measuring it against the ideal. <clears throat> If you recognize a fault, right? I mean, you know, that has to be yeah. contrasted with some yeah. more ideal state, whoever's fault. Uh, yeah, but Would that follow? Yes, yes. This seems to imply that there must be an ideal model yeah. That can be revealed when mm -hmm. the false images fall away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 That, that's the. <laughs> Behind that is that assumption that you just raised. Yes. Quite true. Yes, that's the assumption you just raised. So I was put, reminding that behind the word if, is that the assumption behind this? Yes, yes, yes. yes. All right. Uh, do you find this curious? I do. It's an interesting question. Oh. Yeah, it really I is. I like the last part. Mm -hmm. There should be a way to realize that idea. Oh. Oh. Well, uh, Right in that, it's assuming that it's everyone. I mean, to answer it, just to take what you have up there, what if there is no difference between the ideal and that which manifests everywhere? What would follow? Well, then everything that's manifested is ideal. Yep. Yeah, always. Even though 
there are some who are not aware of that idea. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, that, yeah, that's right. Even though, even though there are some who are not aware of that yeah. idea. Mm -hmm. If so, there should be a way for those people not aware of that ideal to realize that yeah, idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did we just do it? Yes. You mean Julie? Yeah. 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 Huh. Then how, how does the self go beyond its members? Well, according to this, what would you say? Does the self go beyond its members? Well, no. Yeah. It looks like no. If you realize that ideal, then in that respect, you, there's no difference between That would, in fact, be no, members realize realizing the ideal. Yeah, right. Of which the self is itself ideal. Yes. Is the bag the ideal? Huh? Is the bag of the marbles the ideal that keeps all its cells together? Mm. 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 Wait, 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 wait. The self cannot go beyond its members. They are the members. It, is, it, it, is, it encompasses see, all of them. So good, see? <laughs> Expression of outrage. Then the self has a limit. Because it can be defined as including all living things. Therefore, it has a limit. But wait a minute. Uh, oh, what? Oh, look here. All we need is a simple question. So. Uh, <clears throat> What's the furthest most reach of the mind? Say, so, by the way, <clears throat> uh, when you study uh, at colleges, uh, what's the origin of the earth? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what they tell us. If you study what? Uh, the Big Bang Theory is an old I just want to know what's the source of the earth? Um, Where does it come from? According to astronomy. Yeah. It comes from the formation of the solar system. Of the what? The solar system. When the solar system That's is true, but um, how does it relate to the sun? Three planets away. It, 
I just, I just want to answer. I, thank you. It's a, it's a satellite of the sun. Satell- I don't know the word satellite. What's your question here? That means it revolves. Yeah, well, how did it get there? Circular. Uh, the sun decided to put it there. There's a couple of <laughs> how did it, Wait a minute, how did it get there? Oh, what's it there? Where? Ask your, ask. You look, you're sitting two bright guys. That way or this way? That way, okay. Yeah, the, the theory is that it coalesced from the primordial ooze and each set up a series of orbits and the sun happened to be the most dense one. Oh, you mean it all spun off the sun? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it could have been a rock that cooled. So in some way, right, the earth is nothing other than its source is... Uh, the sun, which is <laughs> quite a bit of light, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is the sun alive? Does it exhibit all the qualities of life? Sure. Yes, yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Therefore, this must be alive, and its children are alive as well. the planets. Yeah. Is that right? Well, then, it <laughs> then this is the family. Is that right? And the whole thing must be alive. Is that right? I eat conscious. Is that right? Well, it seems like way. Right? I mean, uh, if everything living comes out of that, then what must of it have potentially? Life. All that spun off it. Agree? Does that mean us too? Why not? All right. Ah, what does that do to our... Can we risk... Now, I'm going to put this down. I don't want anybody to laugh. Wait a minute. The galaxy? The totality? You know, the scientists would be throwing their books up in the air. I never met one. Well, if you got... I think, I think they'd say you'd have to have some ability for locomotion, uh, choice, right? The, the sun looks like it's situated where it is. Maybe it's revolving, but it's kind of uh, automatic. Why would we want to call the sun a self? That's right. I'm to, I'm no, no, watch. <clears throat> only, only if, right, only if it, it can be, one could attribute to it, Mindfulness, or mind, right. or usia, same thing. Is that right? Sure. Oh, by the way, do all the planets have a fixed location, which if they deviated by even two degrees, they wouldn't be there, they wouldn't survive? Right. In other words, is there a fixed path within which each of this must function for it to be? And must there be among these various pathways in which they can be members? Among them, is there uh, some that allow the creation of life as we know it? Yeah. Oh, well, then it's not random at all. It shows mindfulness. Yep. All right. Yep. Inherent in the whole thing. Well, I was. I asked it first. I go. I, now she's I'm asking agreeing. it. I'm agreeing with you. Fine. That's beautiful. Uh-huh. 
Well, well, I just thought we'd take some time tonight to do a little work. Mm. You know, going back. Just Wait a minute, I'm going to get something to drink. Oh, okay. goes back to that Greek word, uh, epiexteia. My Greek isn't poorly per- pronounced, but uh, really? what is it? whether it includes the idea of comprehension, it's an interesting word. Uh, it sounded like I think that's why you spell it. What does it mean? I think that's it. Epiketai, which is, you know, the epsilon augment. Do you happen to have a copy of the Parmenides? Not with me. Second. This is it. First, okay. Second, okay. I can't say it. Ah, there it is. Beautiful. I like, I like the name of the cover all. Yeah. It's a nice piece of work. It's got different translations. No. Close. Um, I, I can't read it. Is there, is there another Too small. I, I, right now. It? Oh, thank you. Hold it. That's all right. That's all right. So it starts right here. Yeah, thank you. That might help. It's all marked now. Comprehend. Is it comprehend? <coughs> That's what he's looking for. Ah, yeah. Um, what's the word they use for comprehending? It depends. Sometimes it's periechal. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if it was what, what would be the other renderings of that word? Sometimes the word that I'm thinking of, they use contain or... Um, but it has both the physical meaning of, as Ingmar... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thought, okay, it's right. The intellectual. Yeah, the okay, the spelling is right. Yeah? Which surprises the hell out of me. So what section is yes. that? What, where is yeah. that? Yeah, Stephanus number. Where, yeah, where's that? It's, um, I don't know. 
Be careful. It's 144E or 144D. Well, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. so there it is. So, okay. And it depends upon what you do with that word, essentially, that's all. Yeah. Because you can be contained or comprehend, depending upon what translation you have. Yeah. But the implications are enormous between contained and comprehend. So, I'm just going to look at it. Yeah, okay. Curiosity's sake. No, no, no. So, uh, what I took you through here is the second hypothesis. The second? Second. Whoa. Yeah, it's the second hypothesis. Curious? Yep. Now, remember, the way we started this discussion is that I mentioned that Barbara reminded us that the second hypothesis is nothing other than the condition of things that must be said to be present with the most brilliant light of being that Plato describes in the Republic at 518, right? And therefore, it must be prior to creation, and therefore, the second hypothesis is nothing other than a study of the most brilliant light of being understood metaphysically. That's Barbara's point she made when she started this discussion tonight. So don't blame it on me. Right, Nancy? Like She's on my side. But, 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 but wouldn't the most brilliant light of being transcend its members? That's the, is, that's the issue. You got it. I can't find it. Whether or not you can say that the second hypothesis is that. That's right. And Nancy told me that she's interested in rewriting the second hypothesis to make that point more visible. So I'm encouraging her. And so uh, I'll take a... Uh, Pierre, one, what? I can't find it at all in here at 144D. Yes. I can't find it. Okay. D or D? Either one. Oh, I'm yeah. having no luck. Well... Uh. Where he put it down, I'm just joshing. I'll find it later. No, no, it's not wrong page. Well, I should, um, I found it before by looking for that this section, which is right here, um,
Yeah, okay. When I opened it up, it was there. So that's what happens when you get David's translation. It suddenly removes itself. Yes. It's okay. I can find it at home. So yeah, okay. If people want, I can send it out to you as a, in an email. Anybody? Yes. Sure. Thank you, David. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. And remember, no Saturday. Have a good Saturday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>